Hello friends, let's learn about Design Studio 1.6. As a part of this course, let's start with the Unit 1 Positioning and Architecture of this uh, Design Studio. So let's learn about the Lesson 1, what is the tool positioning and what is uh, it's all about SAP Business Objects Design Studio. So SAP Business Objects Design, Design Studio is a tool which will enable designers to create analysis applications and dashboards based on SAP NetWare BW. SAP HANA and universe data sources. So uh, these will be those data sources like Netware BW, HANA and universes. So based on these data sources, there are um, analysis applications and dash dashboards we can create, which will give uh, insight to the data, which is very useful for the uh, business users. And this will be um, can, means useful for browsers and mobile devices means users can use their browsers to view the application analysis dashboards as well as uh, their mobile devices so this is a very powerful tool and uh, which is which is the main uh, analysis and dashboard creation uh, tool uh, in sap so what are the de design studio capabilities so the first thing is drag and drop powerful visualizations and control there are many controls which are like drag and drop, like tables, charts, geo map filters, then there is other info charts, like filter line. There are many options or controls which are available, which we can use for drag and drop and we can build a powerful dashboards. Then full OLAP and planning support and uh, dashboard. It, it completely supports the uh, OLAP and um, its online um, analytical processing and planning um, and we can create um, dashboards based on that. The third one is rapid prototyping with prototyping with offline uh, data. That means we can create a prototyping dashboards which we can show to the clients for demo purposes. Suppose there is some data which we have uh, offline means suppose we have some CSV uh, file based on that CSV file we can create a prototype dashboard and we can present to our client saying that this is the uh, how the dashboard looks and this is the way the data we can create um, like online uh, dashboards uh, based on the uh, this prototyping dashboards. Then personalize online composition for end users that means uh, users can have their online um, compositions like they based on their needs means they can choose their options uh, on the dashboards for the end users means they, they do not need uh, any technical uh, knowledge about it but the just just the business knowledge they have the, based on that business knowledge they can choose the options and they can just uh, display the data there then standard apps for analysis planning data exploration self services those these are the detail um, topic we uh, we will cover later so uh, again rela related to the analysis then planning data exploration means then self service like this state of the art html5 rendering and mobile support so html5 is the latest uh, web to, uh, coding we can consider so this is the uh, code code we can which is being used in uh, sap design studio for rendering purposes and this is uh, this this all analysis dashboards we can view on mobile uh, devices. The last one access enterprise data sources. So enterprise data sources, as you know, means there are many enterprises which will implement SAP BW or HANA or uh, universes as their data warehousing um, techniques. So f that data sources uh, can be accessed in this SAP Business Objects Design Studio. So all these are accessible and uh, based on this uh, online means we can create uh, like powerful analysis applications and uh, dashboards. So these are the various uh, design studio capabilities and again this is a very powerful tool uh, in SAP. Okay, let's come to the convergence of SAP BO uh, client portfolio means what is the convergence is it's not legal but it's a functional convergences of uh, this design studio or SAP BO all these tools so first comes discovery and analysis what are what is useful means this is dis discovery and analysis 
for this Lumira Explorer is being used and that is finally getting uh, only in a Lumira tool. So that is one uh, tool which, which is being uh, used. Then for dashboard and application, these are the tools, Design Studio, Dashboards, Bex Web, Analysis for OLAP. So these are the four tool, different tools which, uh, which are there, but that will uh, again uh, combine to only one Design Studio or Design Studio app. Now for office and integration, there are analysis office, EPM add-in, live office, BEX analyzer. So these are the different uh, tools which are related to the office, uh, like Excel office, you can say, uh, for analysis purposes. So that will uh, just, just be only one in analysis office. Then coming to the reporting, there are three reporting tools being used, like digital reports, web intelligence, and desktop intelligence. So uh, out of these, the only crystal reports and web intelligence uh, will be uh, used uh, in future. I means desktop intelligence will not being used uh, means anymore. So that is uh, that is the plan. Means SAP is having means, and all these tools which are here means Lumira, Design Studio with the apps and Analysis Office, Crystal Reports, uh, Web Intelligence. So these are interoperability. Uh, means they can be uh, used um, on a different different tools or cross. Uh, platform so that that is the use of these uh, tools and these are common platform services means uh, they can be worked on a common platform service uh, or they can be deployed like suppose bi platform is one tool where we, we can combine all these applications uh, in a single BI, bi platform like that okay so this is the convergence of sap bio client uh, tools now uh, coming to how IT and business use Design Studio. So, so this is the first part where IT is uh, being involved in uh, creating various analysis applications and dashboards. Uh, so Design Studio, they can uh, create analysis application and deploy it on a BI platform or a SAP NetPair platform like that. And they can create a custom apps and then can be, uh, it's viewable to the business users as a personal views or business views like that. Uh, they can use the ready to run templates means this design studio they can uh, use or this ready to run template directly can be deployed on this like out of box standard apps. And then that can be as uh, self service dashboards where users can just uh, select their dashboards and they can view their um, based on their need. So yeah, this is the second basically like, this is a business part and this is the IT. So mainly IT consists of the IT designers or developers who create these dashboards uh, and deploy it on, on the platforms. Uh, so Design Studio technology, if you say, means these are the tools which we are being used. Design Studio tool, which is nothing but an Eclipse tool, which uh, we will see in a later, I mean, it's a practical examples, Design Studio app. So HTML5 is uh, one thing means which, which is being used. Uh, as a HTML rendering uh, component, then a uh, Design Studio bookmark is again uh, one more uh, uh, tool we can say means where we, we need to use it. So uh, we will see that in later. Okay, so this is the IT and um, business use, how it can be used in a Design Studio. Now coming to the architecture, so uh, so what is the architecture of this uh, SAP Design Studio? So coming to this uh, deployment options means, so this is a designer, uh, it is nothing but a design studio and then this is a consumer, it may be a mobile browser, iPad, etc. Means This is a client, this is a deployment platform. So BI platform is one thing means where uh, the data sources will be BW, HANA and the universes. So this is available as of Design Studio 1.0, BI 4.0 SP5 or BI 4.1 SP0 is the prerequisite uh, requirements. Uh, then Design Studio application stored on BI platform. So whatever the applications uh, created in this Design Studio uh, by the IT designer or developer, they will deploy these applications on the SAP BI platform. Then backend connections through CMC. So central management console, you know, means through that, whatever the connections is required, that I'll, that will be created and that can be connected to multiple uh, data sources like BW, HANA, and SAP Unix. Uh, this is uh, transportation via promotion manage and prerequisite for SAP BI mobile solutions. So 
now these are the um, concepts or topics which we need to consider while uh, deploying the bi platform now coming to the deployment option which is about sap netware what is available see for whenever we are having sap netware as a deployment platform we can connect to the sap bw only will not be able to connect to the sap hana or uh, unx or universes so this is available after design studio release 1.1 and uh, this is bw 7.3 sp9 uh, or bw 7.31 sp7 release so after that only this this can be used design uh, studio applications are stored on sap bw and then uh, transported through different systems via t logo objects uh, we will see in this later later can only connect to one bw system only we can connect to the bw system that's said and the mobile solutions we can port it on device uh, this so this is uh, second option of deployment sap netweaver now uh, coming to hana native so hana is you know means is the in memory fastest com, uh, database or data source we can say in a hana uh, sap so this sap hana native uh, platform option is available as of design studio release 1.3 and uh, uh, hana 1. Point, uh, revision 90 plus so design studio application stored in hana repository so in hana repository this uh, design studio applications are uh, being uh, stored and that can be connected to hana's uh, information access service that is niwire firefly so uh, just so simple because this is a, again a, hana is a uh, database only so um, and that can be used as a platform to deploy the design uh, studio applications just a two layer architecture we can say here now the last one is uh, this is a uh, other option which is for prototyping only means this is this is being worked in a local mode so where we can um, connect to the sap bw or hana as a data sources and in designers uh, design studio we can create this applications and this is just for offline purposes we can say means on uh, only for demo or quick uh, prototype purposes and we can connect direct connection to backend data sources use local sap logon dot ini file or odbc hana connection info so design studio java application runtime runs locally on laptop or pc okay so these are the different uh, bi uh, like uh, design studio deployment options now um, what is the future platform strategy from uh, sap on this means so going forward sap will focus on design studio investments on on the bi platform deployment so other uh, deployments like sap netware or sap hana native that that are not recommend, recommended by sap all uh, a, sap recommends that all customers should deploy the design studio on the bi platform only is going forward so that is the way ahead on from sap on this so this this tool is very important and uh, while learning this means we should understand the, the all the concepts related to the design studio so that means we can build a powerful and uh, analysis applications or dashboards that that will be uh, very uh, highly uh, usualizable to the users and that will fulfill the business uh, needs so that is the um, main purpose of this uh, design tool uh, design studio so that's it from this unit just uh, just uh, let's check means what we learn about this the first thing is sap design studio basics and purpose and the tool positioning what is the basics means the basics is nothing but sap design studio is a powerful tool which is which can enable the users or designers to create analysis application and dashboards in the sap business uh, objects design studio tool and then this these applications can be viewable on uh, browsers and mobile devices as well and then tool positioning i show you means how, what is the tool positioning where it is um, um, currently uh, and how how what is the path forward for sap design studio then coming to the sap design studio architecture which is again means i shown you about means how, how how we can deploy it in a various platforms like bi platform sap netweaver sap hana native and local mode so uh, this these are uh, like means these are the four 
different different uh, platforms but the main uh, platform will going forward will be only bi platform so we should focus on bi platform uh, deployment only okay so that's it from uh, this unit uh, if you like my video then please um, subscribe if, if you have any questions or some points are not clear to you then you can just put that questions in the comment section i will be happy to answer it if you like my video then please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next uh, unit video about this uh, design studio thank you for watching